Hello, everyone. Dr. Nathan Bryan back here. Uh, I want to address something that I've heard in social media now for a number of years, and, and people talk about it quite often. It's this notion of grass-fed beef, and everybody should eat grass-fed beef. And I think that's one of the biggest myths perpetuated on social media. And I think people who do this are good and are well-intended. I think they're just misinformed or rather uninformed. And I've been in production agriculture for more than 40 years. In fact, many of you know we, we raise our own beef. We, we eat the, the, the animals that we raise. Uh, grass-fed beef, those of you who just eat grass-fed beef probably don't know the difference. But the taste profile of grass-fed versus grain-finished beef is incomparable. I mean, most people in taste tests, this is done through Texas A&M University, many other universities, people do not like the taste of grass-fed beef. It has a pungent, almost like a gamey taste, where to the contrary, grain-finished beef has the best taste profile. So what about the nutritious content? You know, there, you'll see the argument out there that grass-fed beef is, is more nutritious. And the data just don't reveal that. What we find is grain-finished beef has more fat, healthy fat, more content of, of fatty acids, the good type of fat that we need. And it's really the marbling in the beef, the fat content of the beef of a grain-finished uh, animal that's much better, not only the taste profile for, from a nutritious standpoint. So there's extremes to all of that. So number one, I don't eat grass-fed beef. In fact, if you eat grass-fed beef and you have a USDA prime grain-finished beef, you'll probably never eat grass-fed beef again. The taste profile is completely different and it's more nutritious. But when you look at big agriculture and you've got calves and feedlots that, you know, there's transmission of disease, you have to give them antibiotics to keep them well, uh, that's completely different. What I do is completely different. I take animals directly from their mother. They've only eaten grass and gotten the breast milk. And then I have a nutrition program, a nutritionist that designs a, a regimen that feeds my animals for 150 days. This is non-GMO grain, so they're getting nutrition that's put together by an, uh, by an agriculture or an animal nutritionist. nutritionist. So we feed these animals for 150 days. It turns the fat from yellow to white, allows for the deposition of fat. You get the marbling. And most of these animals that we feed out, grade out as USDA prime beef. And if you can do that, it's not only sustainable, but you're getting a healthy meat product that tastes like un unlike anything you've ever bought at the grocery store or even at the finest steakhouses around the world. So... In conclusion, grass-fed beef is not necessarily more nutritious. The taste profile is far inferior than a grain-finished beef. So the point is get educated, get informed. Don't believe all the media hype and these uh, so-called uh, influencers on social media. If you do it right, grain-fed beef is more nutritious, more sustainable, and it tastes better.